Muy buena gente, nos acaban de dar esta misión luego de haber pasado la de Xiao. Y se llama el rito de las linternas y vamos a ver de qué va, ¿vale? Lantern right is nearly here. Why don't we decorate the inn this year? Oh, don't you know? On the first full moon of the first month each year, Leo celebrates the lantern right. Hmm. It's a festival to commemorate the heroes from the past. After dark, the people release Xiao and Ming Xiao lanterns into the night sky. Oh, may the flames of wisdom spread to all and never be extinguished. This is the meaning of the lanterns. We believe they act as the beacons in the night, guiding bygone heroes back. Yeah, para celebrar los muertos prácticamente. Wow, it sounds like a grand festival. And where there's a grand festival, there's always special seasonal snacks. You catch Paimon's drift? You want to get involved in the lantern rite? That's great. The festive period leading up to the day itself is all part of the celebrations. During this time, we pray to bring peace and ward off bad luck. Leo and locals call it bidding farewell to the old and welcoming the new. If you're looking to take part, it's not too late. Oh, um, also, if you're able to, <clears throat> could you try to convince Xiao to go with you? Claro, We're not close. porque yo soy el chacho que lo convence. I don't know how to ask him myself, but it seems that you've grown familiar. Yeah, Paimon thinks it might be best to leave him alone for a few days. <sighs> I suppose you're right. Anyway, just thought I'd mention it. You should get yourselves down to the harbor. If you leave too late, the city will be crowded with people and you won't be able to make the most of it. Get going. Happy Lantern, right? Happy Lantern. Vale, pues vamos a ver el rito de la linterna. Y vado. Mira la linterna, huevón, qué chido, genial. I ride on wind and cloud alike. Young man, if I may be so bold, how much for the floating thing? Hmm? El floating thing no está a la venta, créame. No se lo podría permitir. Paimon's not for sale. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm having some financial trouble recently. I probably couldn't afford it. I'm just a small time merchant anyway. I don't deal in rare and exotic treasures. You know, the more you talk, the more suspicious you sound. <laughs> My, someone's in a grumpy mood, aren't they? Here, maybe some candy will make you feel. Better. Dale comida y se comporta bien. Ooh, suspiciously trustworthy. <laughs> de confianza, dice. So, I assume you two are in Liyue for the lantern right? This year's Ming Xiao lantern is supposed to be a sight well worth the wait. The plastrite that will lift the lantern into the air is the largest in 20 years. It's big enough to make you wonder if the fabled floating city in the clouds really does exist. I guess it must just be held up by a similarly sized chunk of plastrite. Sounds awesome! Hmm. <laughs> I hope our paths cross again. Welcome to Liyue. Well, I can't speak for the whole of Liyue Harbor, but you're always welcome in my store, at least. Okay. Wow. So many stalls. Here, there, everywhere. Yep. I'm Cheng Cheng. I just donated Dolly. She's my rag doll. Last night in my dream, Dolly told me her wish was to fly up into the sky and see the view. Okay. So I gave her to the lady over by the big deer lantern. Dolly's wish will come true now. Won't it? I did the right thing. Didn't I? Wishes are supposed to come true at the lantern, right? Ay, Dios, ¿cómo le dices a una niña no que qué feo? ¿Cómo le dices a una niña que no no sé? Ah, qué difícil. Ah, Madame Pink. ¿Qué? Hey, yo quiero, dame, 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 yo quiero. <laughs> This year's Ming Xiao lantern is dedicated to Sky Bracer. He always was a show off. I'm sure he will be very pleased. Well, that's the plan. I do hope they make the antlers big enough. They were his pride and joy, after all. 
The story goes that the antlers were made from the very essence of Rex Lapis's divine power, which made it the hardest material in all of Lyur. Mm. But then that fateful battle happened. The gods exchanged powerful blows, and the mountain started collapsing. To avoid impacting the villagers at the foot of the mountain, the Adeptus got his friend to chop his antlers off. He used those blood-drenched antlers as a wedge to prop up the mountain. And if that wasn't enough of a sacrifice, he then kept on fighting until his blood was drained and his life ran out. Thanks to him, Mount Tianhang still stands tall and proud to this day. And the blood that he lost in the battle turned into the Vishui River. <laughs> Whether you believe the story or not, I'm just happy you're pues me están haciendo escucharlo, no es porque yo quiera. Surely the reason the Lantern Rite exists is because people throughout the ages have chosen to come together as friends rather than stay in isolation. Goodbye. May the flames of wisdom spread to all and never be extinguished. <laughs> Hmm. Look! That stone is floating! Luckily, it's tethered in place. If it wasn't held down, who knows where it would fly off to? This is the plasterite to be used for the Ming Shao Lantern. The whole of the Shao Market is centered around it. I'm Zhang Zhao. Recently, I've been tracking progress on the construction of the Ming Shao Lantern. You seem like newcomers. Is this your first lantern, right? Yes. How can you tell? Well, I don't remember running into any weird and wonderful mascots at last year's mm. festival. You'll see lots of people releasing little lanterns during the festival. Those ones are called Shao Lanterns. But there's also a huge one, a joint effort by all the people of Liyue Harbor. That one is called the Ming Shao Lantern. Almost every business in Liyue has a booth at the annual Shao Market, but despite its popularity, this is the one time of the year they're not looking to make a profit. The street market exists solely to raise the funds and materials required for the Ming Shao Lantern construction. Interesante. So, the Shao Market. Does it have stuff you can eat? That's fine. And if I do say so myself, the Lantern Rite is the best festival for sampling Liyue's local delicacies. It is Liyue's biggest annual festival, after all. Showing off your craft is a great way to drum up a reputation. So even if there's no mora to be made, everyone is secretly going all out to get their produce under the spotlight. Folks in Liyue are so smart! If you need any help, you can look for Wangya. She's overseeing the Lantern Rite. She's <sighs> usually somewhere around the Shao Market. She's your first port of call. Vale. Oh, will she know which stall sells the tastiest stuff? Pongo. <laughs> no doubt. When it comes to the Lantern Rite, no one knows more than she does. Hmm. Got it. Let's go to the Xiao Market and look for Wang Ya. And then go to the stall with the tastiest food and eat till we're stuffed. Ah, es la ñora de siempre. No, o parece la de siempre, pero no es. Hola, ¿en qué puedo ayudarles? From the look of you, you don't hail from Liyue. Are you traveling through? Welcome to the Xiao Market. Overseeing? Not exactly. The Lantern Rite Festival belongs to the whole of Liyue. It's not just one person's to oversee. Hmm. I'm just taking care of a few small things, doing my bit to make sure everyone who joins in the festivities has a good time. We oh. want to know where the tastiest food in the whole wide Xiao Market is. Hmm, the tastiest? Hard to say. I guess that depends on your personal preference. Still, what I can tell you is that everyone's talking about Yin Yen stall. If it gets any busier over there, I'm gonna have to bring the Melolith to keep things orderly. Hey, you'd best get over there quick before the streets get too crowded with people. Oh, and if you are heading to Yin Yen, 
Please do me a favor and run this document over to him. It's vale. a summary of the data from last year's Lantern Rite, compiled by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. It has a few operational tips for our vendors. If you're heading in that direction, it'd be a great help. Vale. Oh, thanks, I've got a gift for you. When you get back. Hmm. Vamos allá. We really don't have enough hands on deck. If I'd known, I would have roped some others in. What's the best thing on the menu? Ah, customers. Take a look and decide for yourself. I can do anything on the menu. Or if there's something in particular you're after, I can do that mm, instead. In particular, quiero una paimon asada. Y ya la quiero. <laughs> huh. Now that you mention it, you do have a lot of options for a food stall. <laughs> Naturally. If there's a dish I can't cook, I've yet to hear about it. Uh huh. Same every year. The old operational tips. How's this for a tip? Leave the handbook to one side and concentrate on the killer cooking. Hey. Uh, hand it over. I'll use it to feed the fire later. Oh. Come on then. Place your orders. Aren't you here to eat? There are so many. This one looks good. But Paima wants to try that one too. Huh? Grilled tiger fish? That's the one Pervasis love to eat, isn't it? Hmm. Seeing as the Lantern Rite is about commemorating the heroes of the past, let's order this one. This can no be the Pervasis' memory. Paimon, let's go again. Ah, your friend has a good eye for food. That's our specialty. Please wait. I'll have it ready for you in no time. Okay, here's your grilled tiger fish. What do you think? Mmm, delicious. Paimon is an expert when he eats. How does he eat? You know, what class of guy would I'm. <laughs> well, hope you enjoy your food. I gotta see to some other customers. If you get hungry again, you know where I am. Hey. Okay. Got to eat. Okay. Let's have a señora. So you're back. What do you think? Yin Yan makes some mean grub, huh? Hey, demasiado diría yo. So tasty. Oh yeah. <laughs> He said that last year, too. If he'd listened to our marketing tips, he'd be doing even better by now. Sí, anyway, pero no lo hace. Here's the gift I was talking about. This shell lantern is for you. Ooh, la lantern is for you. Wow. Such a beautiful lantern. How is it made? Uh, I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to explain the process concisely. Hmm. But if you're interested in shell lanterns, you can ask Jingming over there. He's in charge of both the Xiao and Ming Xiao lanterns. So he's responsible for this super duper huge one too? Mm. That's right. He should be easy to find. Just over there, I think. If we could make a Xiao lantern for Xiao, maybe that would cheer him up a bit. Let's find Jing Ming and see what he has to say. Vale, pues vamos a preguntarle. ¿A dónde? Hacia acá. Mm, parece el mismo de hace rato. At this rate, hmm, we should be able to meet the deadline. Teach you how to make Xiao lanterns. Oh, hmm. You don't look like locals to me. Y claro, por supuesto. Looking to try. I'll be happy to teach you. There's no one way. I should have some spare materials over here. Uh, just a second. Ah, they still need a bit of work. <laughs> Take these and give it a go. Uh -huh. Mira, tenemos varios. Le pues tenemos para hacer cuatro. That was so complicated. Paimon is all out of brain juice. Did you get it? Ahora apenas es. Ah, it all comes with practice. No one's expecting your first try to be perfect. Folks like you who want to learn my craft are rare find nowadays. Did you build that humongous Ming Xiao lantern using the same method? That one? Hmm. I suppose it's fair to say the method is the same, broadly speaking. But no single person can take credit for it. Hmm. The whole of Liyue comes together to make it. So it was a community effort? E Surely you've heard about it. The Xiao market is actually a fundraiser aiming to support the Ming Xiao lantern's construction. 
So that's how the Ming Shell Lantern is built. Such is the Lantern Rite tradition. The Ministry of Civil Affairs might be covering the bulk of the costs, but it's the citizens of Liyue that donate the materials, among many other things. Oh, so that's what that little girl meant when she said she donated her ragdoll. But mm. since when do you build Ming Shell Lanterns out of ragdolls? Well, the Lantern Rite is a major festival. If somebody wants to make a contribution, no matter how small, and well, in this case on. symbolic, we tend not to reject them. All well-meaning contributions are gratefully received. Especially considering how grand of an occasion the Lantern Rite is for everyone. People believe that joining the effort might bring them good luck. <laughs> hmm. All righty then. Shouldn't you get going? With all that the festival has to offer, I'm sure you must be on a busy schedule. Of course, if you want to make another Xiao Lantern at any time, you know where to find me. Happy Lantern Ride. Have fun. Bien, pues ya. La Virgen de la Linterna. Por mal a esta tipa. So, did you find Jingming? We did. Sí. And he taught us all about how to make Xiao Lanterns. Even though Paimon can't really remember any of them. <laughs> No worries. You can always ask Jingming if you need to refresh your memory. I should go. Duty calls. Happy lantern, right? Después aquí termina la primera parte. Pongo. Anécdotas de la internet festival no ha hecho más que empezar. Hello again, Wangya. How's the Mingxiao lantern construction coming along? Good to see you too. The Mingxiao Lantern is coming along smoothly, thank you. <laughs> We're almost done collecting the required plastrite. The project should be completed in a few days. You'll have to come by when it's done. Mm -hmm. Plastrite is the main component of any no, no, Mingxiao Lantern. Antes, no, no, Most of the donations we get from the city folk are either Mora or Plastrite. A lot of them carve their heart's desires onto the Plastrite they donate, as a prayer for good fortune and other blessings. Paimon wants some good fortune too. Let's find some plastrite and make a wish. Hmm. Since you seem so eager to donate, how about you keep your eyes open for less common varieties of plastrite? Those are the ones we lack the most at the moment. One is called azurite. It is occasionally found in the northern part of Mount Tianhang. When azurite gets caught in the roots of ordinary vegetation, it sometimes produces bloaty floaties, which have floating seeds. The other one is called vermilionite, which is extremely dangerous as far as most people are concerned. In Guili Plains, old ruin hunters who have lost the power of flight use vermilionite to keep themselves airborne. Mm. It's a tall order, but I'm sure you can manage. Okay, gracias. Okay, ya tenemos lo que... We're back with a fresh supply of azurite and vermilionite. Ya tenemos lo que nos pedía, así que vamos a ver qué nos pide más. I knew I could count on you. Let me see. Hmm. Yep, without a doubt, these are azurite and vermilionite. But don't you want to make your wishes? You brought back just enough materials for both of you. Come on, get carving. Muy tú comienzas a entregar los pimentos de solito. Done. Paimon prays for a bottomless stomach to eat more delicacies. Okay. And you? Let Paimon see. Huh? Well, that doesn't sound like something you wish for. De mi hermana, eh? Pero que su deseo se a so you made a wish for her instead. Don't you worry. Paimon will help you find her, and we'll spend the next lantern right together. Then we'll release a gazillion shell lanterns to make up for all those wishes you've never had a chance to make. Hmm. If you're done with your carvings, you can hand over your azurite and vermilionite to me. Miss Wong, yeah. Uy, Chang Chang. ¿Qué pasó, Chang Chang? Chang Chang. Well, hello, Chang Chang. What's up, little Missy? Can't find your granddad? Granddad said he's busy and I should go play on my own. I want to make a Xiao Lantern, but I don't know how. Miss Wong, yeah, could you help me make a Xiao Lantern? Sure thing, but promise me that you'll go back home as soon as we're done playing. With so many people at the festival, your granddad will be worried sick if you stay out too claro, long. Papá se <laughs> Thank you, Miss Wangya. I'll be a good girl. I promise. 
I certainly do. That's how I made my first Mora, helping visitors make shell lanterns by the docks. Ah, oh, good times. <laughs> hmm. I should really stay here to keep an eye on the girl. Hey, could I bother you to go to the construction site at the dock and gather some building materials? You know, problem. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Look over there. That guy's acting very Hey, ¿qué estás haciendo tú, ladrón? Hey, what you doing? What you staring at me like that for? Get gone. Wh huh? All right. If you all won't get gone, I'm just going to get going myself, I guess. Oh, basura. Oh. Wow. Paimon thought he might be a shady character. Then he opened his mouth and now Paimon's sure of it. He must have been up to something when he was crouching down on the ground. Because as soon as he saw us approaching, he stood up and acted all innocent. As yes. Paimon has a bad feeling about this. What could he be up to? Let's investigate. Well, this area is full of construction supplies for the Mingchou Lantern. Paper, oil, wood. Oh, all highly flammable materials. On the last day of the Lantern Rite, huge crowds come out to watch the Mingxiao Lantern being released. Hmm. It can't be a good sign if there's a suspicious character lurking around somewhere so dangerous. As he is. He's been tampering with the stockpile of lantern supplies. Let's get the materials we came for first. We can tell Wang because... Because... Everyone in Lilai has worked really hard for this. No one should be allowed to spoil it, period. Probably oh, maybe. fine. There's so many delicacies in Lilai Harbor. Matsutake meat rolls, mora meat, almond tofu. Estás leyendo el menú. Did you get the materials? Ah, yes, these will do. Let me make a shell lantern for Ching Ching. We saw a shady character skulking around the highly flammable materials at the construction site. He looked like he was up to no good. I see. Okay, please inform the Ministry of Civil Affairs about what you saw. I'll talk to Jing Ming. With so many people visiting for the Lantern, right? We can't afford to ignore something like this. Uh, Miss Wang Ya, is something bad gonna happen at the oh, Lantern? Oh, yeah, you're right? tranquila, que nosotros nos encargamos. To a darling little angel like you, Chang Chang. Come on, now, good girl. Head back to your granddad and don't get distracted along the way. We don't want to make him worry. Halt! This is the Liyue Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yeah! We saw a shady-looking guy snooping around near the stockpile of highly flammable Mingxiao lantern supplies. Mm -hmm. We must defend the grilled tigerfish food stall at all costs! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Goodness! This is a serious matter indeed. Exactly what Paimon thought! Liyue Harbor's cuisine is the heart and soul <laughs> no. of the city! It seems we disagree on where the seriousness of the matter lies, but you're not wrong, my little friend. Rest easy. The Ministry of Civil Affairs has assigned a specialist to keep the Lantern Rite safe. I will inform him of this matter and order him to step up vigilance in due course. In due course? This is serious. Why not get your butt over there and tell him straight away? Mm. I wish I could, but he's yet to return. He's taken a small team to Guayli Plains. Huh? Uh, but you're a traveler, aren't you? You've come all this way for the lantern, right? And yet you are willing to lend claro, a hand? Our pleasure! We're experts in this kind of stuff. We lend hands all the time. Oh, like the time we... R really? Huh. Then we are indebted to you. Travelers are so kind these mm, days. Mentira. Ah, yes. No commission should go unpaid. I will take care of the compensation. Again... Thank you both. Una casita solitaria. Para solitario. There's so many of them. Why would they gather together like this? No sé, pero los voy a quitar aquí. Who? Who are you? Oh. Thank you. If it weren't for your help. Today may have ended quite differently. 
I'm in charge mm. of keeping the lantern right safe. A lot comes out of the woodwork at this time of year. There are thieves around every corner. I encountered one during my patrol just now, so I called a few men and we pursued them out here. Once we got here, we decided to split up. I was searching this area. The thief seems to have made a clean getaway, and I sure didn't bank on these monsters being here. Hmm. I was just assessing whether it would be better to send for reinforcements or find another way to disperse them. And that's when you showed up and dealt with them. <sighs> and thank goodness. I don't know how long it would have taken for the others to get here. Well, uh... I need to get back to looking for that thief. But thanks for your help. Until next time. Wait a second. We're not done here. Oh, is there something else? Uh, another one? <sighs> it's interminable. Right. Yes, sir. Uh, when I get back, I'll get the other troops to be extra vigilant in the area. <sighs> In the middle of the festival, too. What are they up to? Do you get the feeling? Paimon thinks so, too. With our wealth of experience adventuring far and wide, we should be able to get to the bottom of this. Ooh, so let's go back to the place where we witnessed the shady-looking guy. Paimon hears from patrol officers that criminals love to go back for another look at the crime scene after <laughs> the <event. laughs> but That's why there's no time to lose. When there's highly flammable materials involved, once the crime happens, it'll be too late.